Take any dish, chop some coriander, dhania leaves as a garnish and it makes it Indian or Mexican. And yet, in its place of origin, which is Greece and North Africa, the word coriander comes from chorus, which means bed bug. This is because the scent gland of the bed bug produces aldehydes that are similar to what is found in coriander seeds. A molecule that lends an unpleasant insect its smell can also work with other molecules to define the flavor of a pleasant citrusy spice like coriander. And if you're one of 15 to 20 percent of people on the planet who have a variation of a gene called OR6A2 that deals with smelling, you will hate the flavor of the coriander leaf. This is because those with that gene detect those aldehydes more strongly than others. So for them, coriander tastes like soap. But these same people can consume this leaf in its green chutney form because the act of crushing the leaf reduces its volatile aldehyde content so they can still enjoy chat. But if you think the seed and the leaf are the only parts of the plant you can eat, think again. The stem has way more flavor molecules than the leaf. So use it when making gravies. And what's even better than the stem and something you probably discard, the roots. Wash them, freeze them, then grind and cook them with gravies for astonishing flavor.